Okay, here we go. So, it's nighttime, obviously. Dark out. So, I'm going to the room. And, so here, as before, is the setup. So, you watch my other. There is the projector. An NQ8C 1200. It's on a full stand. That, Articulating this way, that way, this way, swivel, raise lower, goes as high as the picture. I have the mount that goes in. I'm waiting on the uh, thinner HDMI cables so I can have everything run and be hid as I like everything being hid. Um, setup, same thing. Matter of fact, let me. Turn that stuff on. There's the uh, Yamaha uh, 3040, my Amatimba, HDX2, HDD player, the Sony Blu ray, Xbox One, Kale Box, the Darby, Darblet 5000, right there. Phenomenal piece of equipment. Speakers, my kids. Mini recliner that matches the couch. We picked that up for him because that's just it was cool. Just he likes loves sitting in it. Uh, there's the uh, Ted tension. Um, not not gonna drop the flash on because it would make make it way too bright if I do that. Um, so there's the Ted tension and basically get my uh, remote. So, if it goes up, basically, um, by having it be where it is, it's literally about maybe an inch in front of the TV. So, there's the TV, the 80 inch mounted. I moved all my video games that are in that. From there, that was, now it's in, the bet in between, act a little more like a little bit more of a sound baffle. Give me a little more. Uh, a little extra from the speakers and especially for the center channel um, so basically drop it I mean let me tell you something this is a phenomenal projector and if you guys once you guys get moving my suggestion would be if you're looking for a great projector, I mean, it's, you know, the sRGB uh, one. Um, I will tell you, matter of fact, I'll fire that sucker up. Um, I will tell you, I have the remote sitting over there. It's not screwing with it since it's right there. It's really quiet. I don't give a crap what anybody says. It does not have any motion blur whatsoever. No, no, you know, rainbow effect crap. It, it, my wife is extremely sensitive. She saw him with a, with a, with the 1070, and um, me, I didn't see anything anyway. But this thing is not even close, and it's way better than the the 1070, 1075. Much clearer. You can't beat the warranty. Three years. Um, it's just the way it works. The thing, you it, it, you can turn it off, turn it right back on. It doesn't give you that downtime of, of crap. Um, what you need to do, let's power on the uh, Blu-ray. So basically, um, actually made me grab the remote control of that. So all in all, if you want to go on and go into menus, you have everything you could need as far as menu wise this is concerned yep there it is there's the box jewels alright so kill the uh, kill the light where's my remote for that there we are uh, no off there we are. Ta-da. Now.
We don't need to see Curious George. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> the reason I'm showing you guys Box Trolls, besides the fact that it's an absolutely phenomenal movie, it, it's the, the it, it looks absolutely beautiful. It lo oh my god. If you guys have not seen this movie, do yourselves a favor. Rent it. I sh should put it in 3D and show you guys 3D, but obviously it's the can't translate, so why bother? But, let me get into a chapter. Come on, you dumb thing. Uh, I got a five. Let's see. Screw it. Start the start there. Um. Now, I'm gonna move over across real quick. Yes, get out of the way. I can tell you that the. This is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 7.1 uh, DTS HD Master Audio. And uh, I can tell you right now, in all honest to God, the uh, contrast on this projector, the clarity, are absolutely insane. Again, the BenQ HC 1200. If you haven't, if you haven't seen it, my suggestion is do yourselves a favor. If you like Paranorman or Coraline, you absolutely love this. And it's really hard, obviously, doing anything justice when you're shooting it on a phone, even though it's the, the uh, G3. It's just absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the screen is a 100-inch uh, tab tension, uh, 1.3 gain. So um, I shot some video earlier today of this uh, same movie. Uh, in broad daylight, and uh, I will show you guys basically the differences. Um, but even in broad daylight, it doesn't get very dark, very bright in here, excuse me. It's pretty dark all the time, and that being said, it really does a spectacular job. My son, two years old, loves this. He was just watching this today, and uh, is very, very impressed and he likes to see and do what he needs to do so I will tell you um, I put a review uh, did a movie review on uh, Audioholics and uh, it's in the, book in the forums for uh, Live That Repeat you know the Edge of Tomorrow Tom Cruise on this on same thing on this it's phenomenal uh, really can tell the grain of the war and everything it's just such a such a good movie um, again with these with the with the setup as far as the speakers are concerned um, the Mirage army stats what I'm gonna end up doing is taking these and flipping them uh, while well, they're flipped over so the, the actually speakers pointing down towards your face everything's angled in the proper way but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in wall uh, probably the, the deaf techs uh, go, you know, straight direction um, for the uh, the fronts, front front highs, and the wides. Um, the rear surrounds these back here, which you probably can't see right now. Yeah, yeah, you can see it kind of. Um, that those are going to be bipoles, 
and I'll get to the backs, I'll get straight direction, um, just so I can kind of, you know, get things off the wall even more so, um, you know, anything I can do for my wife to make it look better, even though I spend more time in here than she does by one shot. Uh, speakers, 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 speakers. So yes, the Atmos setup is in. Uh, I could actually turn it on because with the Yamaha 3040, you can, it has the setting where you can enable Atmos in any movie. Um, although I will probably change to the, to the Denon uh, 70, 7200. Uh, the X7200, it's HDCP uh, 2.2 component for when uh, Dolby X comes out because then I can utilize the front wides, you know, um, and and really get a, a, a crazy experience. I'll be able to use the, the you know, the ceiling channel and, and the, 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 the front highs and the front wides it all together, I mean, considering. So there's the, uh, right there, shooting right through the edge. It's doesn't, nothing stops, no problem with sound. Everybody always sits there and asks me all the time, you know, with the wood floors and the, and the carpet, you know, you're, you think that you have too much ambience. No, I have just the right amount. The right amount of sound deadening stuff in the room between the couches, between the dynamite under the walls, the ceiling, the floor, the hardwood, the carpet, the ottoman in the front, underneath the center. Just the right amount to give me enough diffraction in, in the room where it's not a, you know, a, a, a dead chamber and it's not an echo chamber. It has a nice, just a nice blend where it's very pleasing to the ear. I've had a lot of people here that have definitely looked over uh, and listened so a lot of professional ears and they they can't believe just the sound what this you know when you have a dedicated room I don't care what he says when you have four walls and a ceiling and everything is sealed in that you can generate much better sound than you have when you have obviously you know weird angles in rooms or you know a specific living room or living area where you have an open door you can't close or there's just a part of the hallway something weird even in my old uh living room well which is my new living room old new living room which now is my son's playroom i mean i could seal that off except for the doorway coming because it came down the stairs and i didn't have a door to, to shut it off so it was just an open open space going from you know one side of the room over the stairway down into the other different room so now having this the way it is and everybody's like thinks oh that window now that window those are that's a bollywood blind so that blind is very deadening i can walk up to it and it kind of sucks in my voice so luckily you know i didn't want to go plastic on that route so and put, so put the dvds all the I mean, blu-rays everything's in there all the 3ds and all the rest of the hubbub uh the 3d i will tell you on this projector since my tv is 3d um i can tell you that the 3d uh on the tv is passive which is still phenomenal. I personally think that's the only way to go because you have no ghosting, you have no weird edges, you have no nothing. Um, on this, it's active. I have six pair of glasses. They charge fast. And uh, I watched Edge of Tomorrow again. I watched Edge of Tomorrow on this uh, and then I watched it on the TV. Um, you definitely get with the active you get uh there's no like you know uh a ghosting or a tearing or there's no not i've seen it with other projectors it's not with this one it doesn't happen it's a very crisp 3d 3d image you know you just don't flicker there's no edge you know uh, uh second image in specific fast scenes 
it's a great 3d projector really you know there's no it's built in so you don't need a transmitter it's right there it's already in and just put the glasses on and boom and you're ready to go and it is just a really good 3d projector if you're looking for something that's, that's a phenomenal picture three-year warranty and it was something that will last you literally a long time i mean you know even with eco on off whatever you want to do it's still it, it, trying to find a get a three-year warranty on your projector and that the, the bulb with these projectors especially look them up do, look at the research the bulb even going into it will not degrade the color to, once the bulb starts to burn out it's going to be as good now as it is at the end of the life of that bulb so another selling point for me big um as far as you know i mean hey i love watching stuff on the screen i mean how, how could you not fill the whole wall up and, and go at it and you know have some people over recline the couch <laughs> you know all, all pieces of the couch so let the kid recline the chair lay on the floor do whatever you want to do and, and watch it on the watch it on the thing i got better sound in the theater too so um you know i mean i still prefer passive it's just as a better image a better 3d image better you know depth in and out of the screen and uh active you know those glasses that i have with this definitely did not fatigue my eye at all so i would really think and hope that you guys would definitely you know be uh if you're looking in the in the and people always sit there and say, oh, well, that's not really necessarily a home theater projector. Trust me. I've had a 1075. I had the 1070. I mean, I've had a few other projectors. And this is way better. Just the clarity, no matter what you play, whether it's a straight movie, an animated movie, uh, like an actual, like, you know, it's a kid's cartoon, whatever you want to put on there. It just looks absolutely phenomenal. And this, just the, the blacks. In cinema mode, I will tell you, cinema mode in this, once you set it off the sRGB color gamut and you put it on cinema mode, uh, it literally is perfect grayscale out of the box. Perfect. It's very slight calibration. You run the calibration tools on it. You peg the blacks, you know, and, and it contrasts the colors. And man, it just it's just the, the picture just just sings. And like I said, it's really impossible to be able to show you guys out here. But the colors are really, really vivid. I mean, the blacks are black. You can't miss it. I mean, it's just a great projector, especially for the money. God, I mean, you could you could spend three grand on a projector and still not have it be as nice as this one uh, i've seen them i've used them and i'll tell you right now this is just if you're looking at, if you're into something look it up um you know i like i said i still prefer passive but if you want to watch it and active it's right there and it still looks friggin incredible so i hope you guys like it i will launch another video with that up there um like i said that thing I had it. It's a tri. It's on a tripod, and you can go in, as high as this picture, and you can just swivel it, twist it, turn it, it any way you want to do it, and lock it in. So it's not as where that is is literally chest high, five six, so it's chest high, and it fills the hundred inch screen. You could fill uh, easily with that projector at a fifteen foot distance. Well, actually, that's no, it's right against the wall, so that's an inch off the wall. Inch and a half, two inches off the wall, that's an inch in front of the TV, so two inches off the wall. Um, that's almost 17 feet. So 17 feet, this thing has incredible... Uh, you have you could fill a 200-inch screen from this, from this distance if you wanted to. Uh, it has incredible zoom um, and very, very easy to nail the, you know, the clarity with the adjustments on the, on the lens. You know, there's not a vertical lens shift. Don't need it. Don't care. It lined up perfectly right off the bat, and bam. So even when I hang it upside down and put it up on the wall, I'm, it, I'm sure it's going to be exactly the same thing. I mean, you can't beat it. This was probably the easiest <laughs> projector setup I've ever, ever done. So it's definitely worth uh, 
definitely worth looking into, guys. Um, I hope you liked it. Like I said, it's definitely uh, just wa go watch Box Trolls. It's such a good movie. Funny. Just like I said, if you like Paranormal and Caroline, you will love this. I hope you enjoyed it. I will do more. And when my kid ain't sleeping, I'm gonna put another video up and really ramp up the sound. So, all right, guys. Thanks.